It's full time in this Carabao Cup tyre. I know this video is coming out quite late from this game, but uh, I'm going to get player ratings out for every game. Um, I have received a false community guideline strike on this channel. Um, literally did nothing wrong. But uh, yeah, no, not trying to throw shade to YouTube, but they were absolutely useless in trying to resolve it. Did not review it whatsoever. That's why I haven't been on here for so long, and that's why there's going to be a long run of daily videos coming out over the next few days. But here we go, player ratings is straight after the game we're recording this. United 2, Burnley nil, Man United are back. And by the time you're seeing this, in a few days, I'll be live for a watch-along of United against Forest in our first Premier League game in about two months. To get ready for that. But yeah, great, great result. Carabao Cup, a really good performance as well. A few disappointing ones from some players, but a few really great shining lights. It's just great to have United Football back. A nice cruisy 2 0 win. And we are off to the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. If we win the quarterfinals, we are off to Wembley for the semi finals. Remember that? We are off to Wembley. So, uh, and that, that's two legs as well. Two legs. So, um, yeah, get ready for that. That'll be huge. But we're through. 2-0, and uh, the draw will already be done by then. I'll, you'll already know who we're playing. But yeah, United 2, Burnley 0, really happy about that. Let's get into these player ranks. And Martin Dubrovka, you literally can't give him lower than a 5 because he kept a clean sheet. Uh, you can't give him a 4.5, I'm sorry. Like, he was so bad, so shaky. It's a, cl a clean sheet, it's a clean sheet. He did uh, two good saves, horrendous with his feet. I'm not sure what he was doing. Coming out of his box, he was woeful. He almost cost us a goal. But a clean sheet's a clean sheet. The lowest score you can give for a clean sheet is a five, and that's where he's getting. You can't give him a four. Oh, one Basaka. Seven. When was the last time? I reckon it was genuinely close to two years ago on this channel that I sat here and truthfully gave Aaron Wan Basaka a seven on a player ragging. Not long because he barely plays, rightfully so. Number two, because he's usually shit. The assist was phenomenal. His aerial duels and his ground duels were phenomenal. Um, it shows why he should be playing in the championship. <laughs> no. Uh, he should be picked up by a lower Premier League club. Hopefully adds a few million to his value because he's definitely on sale. But if we can just keep those performances from him, maybe he's not on sale. Maybe he's good right back depth with Delo. But if he can, yeah, it's a big if he can keep that up because we don't usually see that attacking force from one Bissaka. Um, yeah, great game. And that assist was world class. Lindelof's a six. Clean sheet. Didn't notice him. Worked reasonably well, but Casemiro was the Rolls Royce tonight. He gets a seven. He, uh, I mean, Casemiro at second back was not what I was, I was expecting on the team sheet. He was a late in, I believe, for Harry Maguire, who, who was ill. Um, but he played... I wasn't expecting to say this, but Casemiro, one of the best CDMs in the world, played a Raphael Varane Rolls Royce um, role today. Absolutely superb. Just got his job done. Moved around the centre back line so freely. Um, Lindelof played well alongside him. I know he's Cas Casemiro way more though. Um, he kind of took his midfield nature and pushed up the ground a lot. Um, but it's exactly what we needed. Played exactly the role we needed from him. And uh, yeah, fantastic. Uh, Malasia. I give him a six. Yeah, I can't. I wouldn't give him <coughs> anything lower, anything over. I saw a game from Malasia. Didn't do anything wrong. Um, can't complain. McTominay, I'm going to give a six. I'm, no, I'm, I'm not going to give him a five. I, I'm going to give him a six. I, I, I str he was shaky in areas, but I struggled to point out one thing that he did wrong that was bad for the game. He's very good on the edge of the box, almost had a great goal. Um, pretty good with his feet, won the ball back a few times in the midfield, but wasn't going to stand and display. A little bit shaky on the ball. He was okay, McTominay, today. Oh, Christian Eriksen, seven. <laughs> I mean, he scored the goal, and he's also just a absolute... He's just a dictator in that midfield, an absolute dictator. Um, and there's three players my man of the match could go to, and Ericsson's definitely one of them. Fantastic, fantastic. Hopefully we can get him. And if you're Australian, Matthew Leckie. Shout out Matthew Leckie, because if it wasn't for Matthew Leckie, Christian Eriksson may have not played in this game, you know, considering Leckie knocked Denmark out. Uh, yeah, fantastic, Christian Eriksson. Bruno, six. Average. I mean, he pinged a few good balls across, but I didn't think he was a standing. Um, he looked pretty confident, though. Uh, hopefully, he can get back to his best. Oh, Rashford. Lord. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, so you might be able to tell my three man of the match is between Marcus Rashford. Um, oh, sorry, my three man of the match is between Marcus Rashford, Christian Eriksen, and Aaron Wan Bissaka. Easily. It, it was so, so good, Marcus Rashford. That goal was unbelievable from the halfway line and his dribbling. Unbelievable. Such a good goal from Marcus Rashford. Unbelievable. And he looked really confident on the ball. If we can keep that, Rashford, 
especially on the right wing as well. I wasn't expecting. There were a few times where he was so right footed that he didn't have the ability to cut in, which I found strange playing Ganacho on the left, where Ganacho would work better on the right, in my opinion, with Rashford in the side. Obviously, Ganacho works better on the left, but if Rashford's in the side, I'd rather Rashford on the left. But Rashford worked okay off the right, couldn't cut in as much as he, he usually would like to, but that goal gets him up to a seven alone and looks really confident. Um, I think that's Ten Hag's fault playing him there when we have Anthony on the bench. I'm not saying Anthony was good by any means, but I, I feel like Anthony just should start that game and you should either have one of Garnett or Rashford on the left. Um, interesting decision by Ten Hag. Rashford scores a world-class goal as a result of it, though, so who cares? Ganacho, six, yeah. Average, not great. Uh, Martial, six. Yeah, not a good game either from... Oh, no, 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 a good game. A little bit of a graveyard shift. F- tr- struggled to get himself into the game and a few injury scares, which uh, drops the hearts of every United fan. Anthony, look, I hate to do this for a, a substitute cameo, but a four. Like, Lord, I've never seen a... I mean, that's one of the worst substitute cameos of the season. <laughs> like, I'm not giving any shade because it's a Carabao Cup game and we've, it, it, we've just gone back. And he barely played at the World Cup, so he might not be that sharp. But, oh, my Lord, it was bad in every aspect. Losing the ball, holding on to the ball for too long, being selfish. Yeah, it wasn't good for Anthony, but I have no doubt. He'll get back into that starting lineup and uh, and return to his winning ways. Luke Shaw, six. Can't give him anything high, can't give him anything lower. Really solid Luke Shaw. Took a few really good touches, and he's looked so good this season. So, so good. Anthony Alanga, six. Barely on. Brandon Williams, six. Barely on. Fred, six. Barely on. Eric Ten Hag, he... Gets a oh, seven. Yeah, give him a seven. Uh, I, I disagree with the selection of Ganacho and Rashford. He was forced to make a late change with Maguire coming out, so he had to bring in Casemiro. It was the right decision playing him at centre back. I thought McTominay would benefit having Bruno and Eriksen on the side of him, but clearly didn't. Um, when he's usually got Fred on the side of him. Um, yeah, I thought, okay, from 10 yards today, tactics were good. Dig it's exactly what he needed to do. 2 0 win. Man, the match is so tough. It's between Rashford, Eriksen, and AWB. I'm going to give mine to Christian Eriksen. It might be unpopular. It might be unpopular. I'm going to give it to Eriksen. Actually, I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to. He ghosted for about 20 minutes in that second half. So I can't give it to someone who wasn't problem at the whole game. wan and Rashford both were. I'm going to go Rashford. I'm going to go Rashford. So close to wan though. Great game, wan Submit my vote. I think it will be Rashford. It is Marcus Rashford, man of the match. Um, so good to see Rashi back. And uh, yeah, so good to have Man United back through the core finals of the Carabao Cup. By the time you're watching this, I'll be live for the Forest game in a few days and a massive string of, uh, of live streams. So uh, yeah, daily uploads coming until New Year's as well and beyond. So uh, yeah, massive 2023 for UKFC, massive end to 2022. Thanks for all the support on the channel this year. Up United, great to have them back.